In this video, I'm just going to go over the notation I use uh, in my lecture notes. And so for these videos and in my courses, I um, use ACI, American uh, Concrete International uh, Notation. And so here we go. Uh, when I uh, uh, talk about concrete beams, uh, we've talked about this, the width, uh, I'll use B. The overall height of the beam will be H, and the structural depth I'll call D, and that's the distance from the steel to the extreme compression fiber. That's going to be D. Uh, typically, I approximate uh, D as H minus 2.5 inches, and um, I can explain that later. If you have a T beam, you have two different widths and two different heights, and so the width of the flange I call B flange, and the width of the web I call B web, B sub F, B sub W. Um, this is still uh, uh, H, uh, but uh, the thickness of the slab I'm going to call H F for H of the flange. Um, strain notation. Uh, Epsilon Su is the ultimate strain of the concrete, which I'm going to take to be, and which ACI takes as 0 0.003. Um, that does change depending on confinement and things like that. But for these series of notes, we're going to take 003. The strain in the steel at the bottom, Epsilon S, is the strain in steel, and the depth to the neutral axis is C. Uh, we use the Whitney stress block uh, in these notes, and so let me go over that. So here's C, the, uh, to the neutral axis, the, the structural depth to the steel is D, and the actual stress is you have some kind of stress in the steel, and you'll have this distribution of stress uh, in the concrete, and these two are equivalent. The Whitney stress block has the same area, so this rectangle here has the same area as this parabolic shape here. And uh, it also has the same centroid. The centroid of that rectangle is the centroid of uh, this parabola. And so to make that happen, the rectangle has to be shorter than C. And so you get this distance A, and that's beta one C. Uh, we can talk about beta one later, but uh, beta one is typically 0.85 for uh, F prime C less than or equal to 4,000 PSI. And you subtract uh, 0 0.05 for every thousand above 4,000. So for example, it's eight zero for F prime C equal 5,000 PSI. And I believe it does not go lower than 0 0.70. And that makes uh, the resulting forces in a beam T and C, and uh, the distance from the middle of that rectangle to the steel is D, the overall depth, minus half the height of the rectangle, or A over two, so Z is D minus A over two. Uh, we are gonna call rho the ratio of steel to concrete, but for concrete, instead of BH, we're going to use BD. And in ACI, prime always means compression, so compression steel uh, ratio is AS prime over BD. And that's the notation uh, we're using for now, but I, I do want to explain where I get the approximation that uh, D is H minus two and a half. So here's the bottom left corner of a beam. And so you have a stirrup here and you have a rebar here. Um, you need uh, one and a half inches of cover for an interior beam. Uh, this uh, stirrup number three or number four, let's say a number four, that makes that a half inch. Uh, you could have any size bar for convenience. Let's say a number eight, which has a diameter of one inch. So the the radius is half inch. And so this distance from the bottom to the center of the steel is 1.5 plus a half plus a half equals 2.5.
So um, that's where I get D is the high minus that 2.5 inches. Obviously, that's an approximation, but that's often what I will use for uh, one layer of steel. Okay, so that's the notation I'll be using for this class.